Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of How to Build Your Character in Maya. My name is Brian. If you've been following along now, then your character should look pretty much like this. You'll have one leg and you will have your leg structure in place. And you'll also have the joint system for your spine and your head. So hopefully you guys have followed along. And what we're going to do in this second part, part B of the spine, we are going to be building the control structure for the spine itself. It's very, very simple to do. It's going to be based on all adjustment nodes and simple controls. OK, so let's get started here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure nothing is selected. I'm going to click off, make sure nothing is selected. And I'm going to say Edit Group. And that's going to create an empty group for me. Make sure that I can see it down there. It's right at the origin. Perfect. I'm going to rename this immediately. I'm going to rename it to um, Adjustment Node. It's an Adjustment Node. And I'm going to call it Adjustment Root. OK. and the spine and everything here has already been zeroed out. There's no uh, rotation on any of these joints. They're all set to the world, so they all have zero rotation on them. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to select my uh, magnet here with the dot underneath it, and that means uh, magnet to point. And I'm going to take this, this adjustment node, and I'm going to move it up. I'm going to drag it. I'm just going to put it right on top of that bone there, right on top of my root bone. Perfect. OK, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off this. It's been renamed. Actually, I'm going to leave that on because I'm going to use it again in a second. I'm going to duplicate this adjustment node right here. I'm going to say Edit. Uh, I'm going to say Edit, Duplicate. And it's going to build a new one. I'm going to change this name to Adjustment Pelvis. And we're going to do this for each joint that we actually want to be able to manipulate or move. So we're going to do it for the pelvis, the root, the spines, as well as the head. So I'm going to, with my snap to uh, point on, I'm going to drag this onto the pelvis. Perfect. I'm going to now edit, duplicate it again, and I'm going to change this one here to spine one. Spine one. So far, pretty darn easy, right? And the whole thing is pretty easy. We're doing a very simplistic FK rig here. It's going to work out nice for you guys. Edit, duplicate, and spine two already. Perfect. We're going to put them right there. OK. We're going to skip the neck because we don't really care about the neck. You could you could bind everything to either the neck or the head. In my case, I've chosen to bind to the head, uh, which may have been a mistake now that I'm thinking about it. We might have wanted to bind to the neck, and that's going to give a better movement to the, the uh, body. So we can bind everything to the, to the head like that, but what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to add the the control is going to actually gonna be um, based on the neck itself. So when I duplicate it this time, edit, duplicate. I'm not going to put it to this bind joint. I'm actually going to set it up to this neck joint. And that's going to allow me to rotate at that point and move from there. So let's call this here adjustment spine. Or let's call this adjustment neck. OK, and that's all we're going to need right now for our adjustment nodes. They're all set up. They're all in world space coordinates, which is great. And they're all a link to the bones. OK, on each of these now, we're going to place a control. And the control, I'm just going to use simple circles to start with. Uh, and I'll manipulate one of them. I'll manipulate the one with the root joint. So uh, I'm going to say Create. And I'm going to say NURBS Primitive. And I'm going to say Circle. And again, with this sucker right here snapped in place, I'm going to drag it up right onto the root like that. Now, I'm going to make this into a slightly bigger. I'm going to scale this up to, let's say, uh, 3. Is that big enough? No. Scale it up again to 4. That's probably plenty big enough right there. Yeah, that's perfect. And I'm just going to manipulate this one here a little bit so it looks different than the other ones. So I'm going to turn on the control vertices. I'm holding the right mouse button, control vertices. And I'm just going to stretch some of these things out. So just as, oh, and I turn the snap off. Otherwise, it'll snap. Let's just make this like, just so it looks slightly different, just like that. OK? It does not matter. You can make the controls any way you want, any way you want. Uh, and uh, it's it's personal preference for you or your animator, whoever's going to be using this rig. So I'm going to do it exactly like that. That's going to be my root control. So I'm going to select it, say right clicking. I'm holding the right mouse button and saying object mode. Select it. And I'm going to rename this thing here to CNT underscore uh, root. Great. That root joint is now in place. And I'm going to now make that same thing. I'm going to say edit. Or sorry, I'm going to say create. Nerve sphere, circle, and I'm going to make this thing here size 4. And with this guy back clicked on, I'm going to move this onto my pelvis. Uh, actually, I'm just going to make it slightly bigger because it may be a little bit too small. Let's make this scale 5. Scale 5, great. 
and I'm going to duplicate it, edit duplicate, and I'm going to drag it up onto that guy, edit duplicate, and I'm going to drag it onto that guy, and I'm going to say edit duplicate, and I'm going to drag it onto the neck for now. We're going to leave it, oh, that's not the neck, onto the neck, well, there we go. I'm going to leave it on the neck for a moment, I'm going to show you how to adjust it later on. So let's go through and make sure we rename these, because we don't want to screw anything up. And we're going to say, uh, uh, not control vertices, I'm lying to you, we're just going to select it. And we're going to say CNT underscore uh, pelvis, pelvis, great. And we're going to do the same thing with the spine one. It's going to be called CNT underscore spine one. And this guy is going to be CNT underscore spine two. And with this last one we're going to call, we're going to call this in here CNT um, underscore head, because this is actually our head control. Great. Okay, now, so the reason why um, I'm going to, Okay, I'm going to set up the structure first of all. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure that we're going to open up our outliner, window, outliner, and we'll get a new window popping up. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that, that each of these things are piled on top of each other. So first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that, that spine 2 is, well, let's do it like this. I'm going to take spine 2, the control, control spine 2, and I'm going to middle mouse button and drag it onto spine 2. So it'll appear underneath like this. And I'm going to do the same thing with spine 1, drag it, drop it. Same thing with pelvis, drag it, drop it. Obviously the head, where's my adjustment note? Oh, I call it adjustment neck, I'm gonna put it right on there. And control root, I'm just gonna go right there. Okay, great, now, we're gonna build the structure. The structure is very easy to build. I'm gonna stretch this out so you guys can see it. Everything is built off of the control system, the adjustment root, sorry. Everything's gonna be built off there. So I want you to take each one and I want you to take the adjustment node for the pelvis and I want you to drag it and drop it under control root. So I middle mouse button and I dragged it and I dropped it under control root. I'm gonna take spine, I'm gonna take the adjustment neck and I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna drag it onto control spine. It's control two spine. So all I'm doing is dragging one into the other. Adjustment node for two, I'm gonna drag it and drop it on spine one. And then spine one, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna drag onto control root, just like that. So now we've got this entire system that's been set up. Hello everyone, sorry about that. I am actually home with my baby girls today. I am a father of twin girls and one of them started screaming out to me so I had to turn off the video and go and check on her. But she is asleep again, so we're all set. So, um, we were we? We were setting up the control system. Okay, so the control system is all set up along here. I have just placed one after the other after the other, kind of like in a cascading uh, motion here. And that means that if I, for example, uh, twist the, let's say I take the control um, spine, let's say I take this first one, and if I rotate it, everything above it follows along, okay? That's exactly what we want to happen. That's an FK system. So that's what we want to occur. Perfect. Now, what we're gonna do now is um, we are going to set up the, the control system to allow everything to follow one another. So you saw there that the controls themselves follow each other, but the bones do not. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure the bones are following the controls. Animators should never touch a bone. They should never touch a joint. There should be no keys on a joint. If there is, something has gone terribly, terribly wrong. What you wanna make sure they're doing is only manipulating your control system that you build. So. What we're going to do is we're going to, let's go down here and we're going to take a look at the pelvis itself. What we're going to do is we're going to take the um, pelvis, select the pelvis joint uh, as, as your slave and your master is the control system here that you want to follow. And what you're going to do is you're going to say, uh, you're going to say constrain and you're going to want to make sure you're, you shouldn't have to leave your offset off because there's not a whole lot going on here and everything's already been set. Actually, you know what we're going to do first of all, we're going to select each of our joints, select each one like this and we are going to freeze these to make sure that they modify freeze transformations great so that means they've all been snapped in place and they all have a current value what happened there something happened I didn't want it to jump like that um, this guy why did he jump modify freeze transformations great this one this one 
this one and this one, and we're going to say modify. Freeze transformations, great. Now everything should be set to the scale of 1, and everything should be zeroed out, which is what you want your controls to be. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to set up our uh, pelvis joint. So select your master, and then your slave, and sorry, I did the backwards, so select your master, and then your slave, and then what we're going to do is we're going to say constrain point. You want them to stick together, make sure maintain offset is clicked on. It shouldn't really matter, they shouldn't be moved. Everything is kind of snapped together, so add. And then I'm going to say uh, again constrain and orient, and make sure maintain offset is on, and say add. Now, in this case here, all the joints were zeroed and all the all the controls were zeroed, so we have no real worries. But now, if I actually move this control, you can see hump, hump, hump. We got some uh, we got some action right there with the hips themselves moving. So that's exactly what we want. Okay, great. We're gonna do the same thing with each of the other joints. So again, we want master. I'm gonna turn this back on, and we want the slave to be the that joint. And we're gonna say constrain point constrain orient. Same thing with this guy, master, and slave, constrain, point, constrain, orient. Same thing with this guy, constrain, point, constrain, orient. And lastly, we've got this one here. Now, we're going to do it right away. Let's just do it. Master, and then the slave, and I'm going to say constrain, point, constrain, orient. Now, if we take a look, we've got our, we've got our circle. Let me turn this on so you guys can see it. Uh, shading, smooth shade. We've got our circle kind of in a weird place for this head. I don't want my circle way down there. What I want to do instead is I want to move this circle somewhere up along his head up here so I can actually grab it easier, so your animator can grab it easier. So what you're going to do, let's go shading turned off again. What you're going to do is you're going to select this guy here, the control itself, and you're going to hold on the right, right, right mouse button and you're going to say control vertices. And then you're going to select those control vertices. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen because of the stupid joint. Let's turn off the show joints. Okay, we're going to select our control vertices just like this. We can show them again if you want to see them so you can line them up properly. And I'm going to move these up to this area here. Let's snap it right to our bone. Boom. So now that is in position right there. And in fact, when I take a look at it in again in our... Uh, smooth shade, we're going to see that's not exactly how we want it either, so we're going to manipulate this joint, and I'm going to turn this thing off, sorry, this control, with the control vertices, shading wireframe, and why don't we just square this out so we kind of have a, a square control, shoot, so we have a, a square control, Ugh. I want you, and I want this, so let's square this guy out, let's take this thing here, and let's look, take a look at it from the uh, panels top view so we can see it top view I'm just gonna drag these outside of the head like this I'm just gonna do kinda like that and this one here I'm gonna drag over there with him I'll, I'll manipulate these again afterwards I know you guys love watching me pull points bet you're glad I'm doing it I'll change these to where I want them later on but for now we'll just do it like this and like this. I'm just making this easy to grab for the animator, which is me. I want things to be easy for me. And later on, like I said, we'll make this smaller or bigger as we need. And align it this way. Obviously, this is not correctly lined up. I'm going to put this out here. Oops. I'm going to put this one out here. And I should have had an extra joint or extra thing. And I will show you how to do that too then. If you actually want to rebuild your... Oh, no, I have one right here. Never mind. Just like that. Okay. Let's, let's put it out here to number three. I'll drag all these things out like this. And these guys, too. So this is pretty ugly, as far as the control is concerned. Take your time. Make some nice controls. Nice controls always go a long way. Perfect. Anyway, leave it like that for now. If we take a look at the in this mode and we say shading smooth shade that's obviously much easier to grab than the original one was go through and change your other controls however you want uh, I'm probably gonna slim this down later so it's not so oops so huge there we go 
So now, now that we have all of our things set up, uh, did I set up this one here? I did. Now that we have everything set up, if we go back to our wireframe and I move this, you should be able to see everything beneath it twisting, and it's going to twist from the neck, which is what we want. So that's it. It's twisting exactly like that. And the same thing, oops, control Z. The same thing with all of these guys here. Each one is in turn aligned to each other. And we should be able to, I won't do it like that. We should be able to just take them and twist them and everything should follow along just like that. So that's exactly what you want to see. That is per done perfectly. Okay, everybody. So that is how you do your spine. That is how you do your neck. And if we really wanted to, what we can do now is we can select all of our BN joints. Let's actually just do it like this. I'm gonna select this joint. This one, I'm just gonna select each one individually rather than, rather than, uh, I don't want the neck and I want this guy. I'll just do it like that for now. And I'm gonna do something called a junk bind. So the junk bind, uh, and I'm gonna select the skin. The junk bind, you say, go to your skin and you say bind skin, smooth bind, and uh, go here and make sure that it says bind to select the joints, good. Close in hierarchy, great and say bind skin and this is going to give us a junky bind junk bind actually to allow us to see how it would kind of move so now if I twist Terrace's head oh that's not in the right spot because it's bound I didn't bind his head actually I only bound his neck uh, I can bind the head too which I'll do right now actually I'll just show you the body I didn't actually bind this this thing that's why it didn't move but now if I move the body let's say I go like this and we move it we should all see the thing move itself great this one and this one should bend the upper body. That's what we want. See how the head's following? This one down here is our pelvis. So if we go like this, boom, 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 it should move the pelvis. So this is just a junk bind. It's obviously not how it's gonna work later on. You have to go through and make sure that everything is stuck the way it should be. And lastly, if I move this guy here, the body should move with it. See how the entire legs and everything are moving? Like the entire leg joints? Great, that's exactly what we want. Everything seems to be working perfectly. So everybody, I hope that was helpful. I hope you're following along well. If you have any questions, please let me know. Give me a like in the comment. Give me a like. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and take your time and subscribe. Thank you very much everybody. Have yourselves a great day.